In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate an equilibrium constant if you know the free energy at equilibrium, and that is the Gibbs free energy at equilibrium. All right. So for a reaction, A moles of A and B moles of B going in equilibrium with C plus C, the equilibrium constant, at least the expression, we know is given by the product of the products divided by the product of the reactants. Okay, so that's C concentration of C to the C power divided by concentration of A to the A power divided by concentration of B to the B power. Now, we had already shown in another video that if we wanted to find the free energy at equilibrium and we knew the equilibrium constant, we simply take the natural log of the equilibrium constant and multiply times negative RT where temperature is in Kelvin. But suppose that I want to, I already knew the delta G at equilibrium, which in some cases is the case, and I wanted to backtrack and find the equilibrium constant. Okay. So the way I would do that is just simply do a, a, a simple mathematical manipulation, okay? And that's all this video is going to show. So one thing to realize is that if you ever have a natural log, I don't care what the variable in there is, okay? The way you undo a natural log, you, in, you do the inverse of it. And the inverse of the natural log is the exponential function, okay? And when you do this, this is equal just to x, whatever is inside the natural log function. You just exponentiate the natural log and you get whatever's inside the function. So if I want to isolate the equilibrium constant, I need to somehow take the exponential of the logarithm, okay? But I want to get rid of the RT first and the negative sign. So what I'm going to do is I have this, this delta G standard equal negative RT times the natural log. I'm going to divide bo both sides through by negative RT. So that's going to give me this term right here, negative delta G standard divided by RT is equal to the natural log of the equilibrium constant. Okay. Now, like I said, to get rid of the natural log, I have to take the inverse of it, which happens to be the exponential function. And so when I do that, the exponential function and the natural log completely disappear, and that leaves me with the equilibrium constant. But now I'm taking the exponential of the negative delta G standard divided by RT. So basically, that's the important part of your expression right there, is KEQ is equal to the exponential of negative delta G standard at equilibrium divided by RT. And then also remember for the reaction that we had used previously, that this is the actual expression in terms of concentrations in the reaction for the equilibrium constant. Okay. Now, one thing I just want to point out, because I'm used to doing this, is I have written here exponential of negative delta G standard over RT. Okay, this is a fancy way of do using, of writing exponential functions because especially when you get into complicated physics and chemistry, you can have humongous um, terms inside the exponential function. So sometimes if you just write E, you'll have, you know, delta G over RT, you know, and sometimes that can get pretty um, convoluted inside there. You can have terms way bigger than this inside the exponential function. So a lot of times what people do is they write exp to denote that's the function. And then in parentheses, they put all of this, that you don't have to kind of put all of this as a superscript on the e, okay, like a power. It'd be one thing if you were just taking like e to the fourth power, okay, that's one thing. But since you have all this fun this term, this big term inside here, usually people choose to put exp and then in parentheses, whatever the, the, um, the uh, power is, okay? So that's how you find the equilibrium constant if you know the delta G standard, okay? So hopefully that made a little bit of sense. That's how you calculate equilibrium constant from Gibbs Free Energy. Thanks for watching. I'm Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like the video, subscribe for future videos and notifications. Thank you.